welcome to London Heathrow Terminal 3 and welcome to my first ever visit to the Virgin Clubhouse. Now this was also my first visit to any airport lounge, but I can't imagine them getting any better than this. I made sure I took one of the worst flight connections I could find to give me about 6 hours in one of the coolest places I've ever been. Crazy as it might sound, that was barely enough time to enjoy everything on offer here. And no, I don't just mean propping myself up at this magnificent bar. But where else, outside airport lounges, is it normal to hear that beautiful sound of champagne corks popping at 8 o'clock in the morning? It didn't take the inner child in me long to find my favourite place in the whole lounge. I would end up spending a lot of time up here today, but first it was time to have a walk around and find some breakfast. You'll be actively offered table service wherever you sit yourself down in the lounge, and this is no bad thing. But one of my favourite places was the deli counter, where you could choose for yourself some of the freshest snacks and light meals. This is where I would find my first breakfast. For nothing more than the benefit of this video of course, a second breakfast was to follow in the more formal dining area. Well I say formal, but of course Virgin Atlantic are very good at making things pretty relaxed and friendly. There are so many different areas throughout the lounge to sit back and enjoy the legendary service. At times, throughout my six hours here, the lounge got pretty busy, but there was never a problem finding somewhere to sit. And like I say, table service was there waiting for you, wherever that may be. This was my favourite spot right beside the window with an incredible view out over the apron. One bit of advice though, however close those shiny virgin planes might seem, you might still have a bit of a walk to your gate. Wherever in the lounge you decide to drop yourself down, you're not going to be disappointed. I was quite tired after a super early start from Edinburgh, but I have to admit the draw of the pool table was just too much to resist. Yes, signs of a misspent youth. Virgins still offer complimentary treatments in the spa, or a trim at the hairdressers if you prefer. I ended up going for a facial and a head massage, one of them complimentary and the other only £16. Feeling absolutely amazing after my spa treatment, it was back to the lounge, and as you can see here, we'd now changed from breakfast service to lunch service at 12 o'clock midday. At this stage, I felt brave enough to order some alcohol with my pre-flight meal. Now, some people don't like the interruption of these boarding calls, but to be honest, you could easily lose track of time here, so for me, they are actually quite appreciated. Here's a quick look at the menu from my visit at the end of February 2020. Hard to believe it's all free. Stay tuned, coming up right now is a quick look at the Virgin Revivals Lounge, which you can use on return to Heathrow Terminal 3. I flew back into London Heathrow from New York JFK in upper class, and this gave me access to the Virgin Revivals Lounge. Be warned though, this lounge is landside, so if like me you're connecting to another flight, you will need to go through security first at Heathrow. Here we are back at Heathrow. I've come through to the Revivals Lounge. I am an absolute state. I've had maybe two hours sleep maximum on that flight. It was lovely, but I chose to take the service, which meant that I had less time to sleep. So, we'll have a little look around here. When I visited, there was no problem getting one of these private bathrooms. I really love to have a shower at the airport. 
Now this is a much smaller space, don't be expecting clubhouse here, but do expect some great food. I'd already had a bacon butty and some cornflakes on the flight, so it was something just a little bit lighter here. And that was it from Heathrow Terminal 3, but please look out for a comparison review coming from the clubhouse at New York JFK, coming very soon. As always folks, thanks so much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you haven't already done so, please consider a little subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on some more travel adventures to come this year. Thanks again.